By request, this is uh, Everyday Math, 3rd grade, home link 6.6, .6, naming polygons. And we are going to just take a quick look at this. And let's look at the directions first. So you're going to think of names that have different letters. Okay, so you can choose any name you want to as long as the letter is not repeated twice. So for example, uh, I can't choose the name Jeff because there are two F's in this name, so that won't work. But you're going to um, choose another name that has different letters, and then uh, put the points in a circle, like they've done here, and then connect the points using a pencil and a straight edge. Then count the number of sides and give the polygon a name. Okay, so let's just see how this works. Okay, so for number one, I'm going to choose a name, and I'm going to choose the name Tim. Nice short name, also my brother's name. And I'm going to make three points on my circle and label those points T, I, M. And one thing about this is usually you use capital letters when you're uh, marking points in geometry instead of lowercase letters. So I have T-I-M. Now I need to connect my points with a straight edge. You can't see this, but I'm using a DVD remote control as my straight edge. It's a little bit hard on the iPad. I'm just going to try my best. But if you use a ruler and paper and pencil, it should be a lot easier to connect your points using a straight edge. And there we have it. So, this polygon has how many sides? Not too difficult. Three. A polygon with three sides is, I think everybody knows this, and this triangle is named T-I-M. For your second name, try to choose something with uh, a different number of letters, so uh, I'm going to choose the name Frank and make my endpoints. There they are. Now I'm going to connect those endpoints just like that. Again, it's a little bit harder on the iPad to make straight lines. Um, this polygon has, I see, five sides. And this polygon is a do you know what shape starts with the letter P and means five sides? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. If you don't know uh, what the name of your polygon is, you could look it up or ask someone or just leave this blank and uh, you can look it up in school tomorrow. And this one is named F R A N K. Now, as we know, there's also, uh, this is just one of the names of this polygon. We could also name it K-F-R-A-N. We could call it N-A-R-F-K. There are lots of different names, or specifically, I think, 10 different names for this polygon. But one of them is Frank. Now, just a couple things. The last thing, please note, you need to draw more circles and polygons on the back of this paper. Um, for your circles, you may want to just find something like a bottle and just trace that bottle and then you can use, um, it will be a little bigger than this size, but that's okay, and uh, make more polygons and name them. Then you've got to answer this question and be a bit of a thinker for this, but I think you can do that. And that is your homelink for tonight. Good luck. If you have questions, please post. Thank you.